Welcome everybody, this is Technical Tuesdays at volume 37. Now this week is going to be a relatively fast paced Technical Tuesdays where we're going to be mainly just focusing on the charts. Now last week we didn't do any Technical Tuesdays, why? It's because we're kind of just repeating ourselves when it comes down to them all important technicals. So the market has in fact been kind of quiet due to summer, a lot of people are away from the charts in the summer period. Uh, maybe enjoying some time with the family and friends as we all would love to do now first of all today it's um, we've had a great student in called John now John um, he's been in the market for around two years he's done some research online uh, he actually had one of his friends help him and when John came in the first thing we like to do is test the student on the chart uh, to see what the strengths are what the weaknesses are and so on now John his his information was a little bit scattered and all over the place so uh, today as you can see we've been um, giving him steps and some guidance in in what to do on the uh, charts and the trend lines and so on so here as you can see we have steps for everything we do we like to lay the foundations for people no matter if you've been in the market for two years or you're very very new to the market and never looked at a chart before we stay here next to you side by side until you understand every concept we go through so um as you can see on this screen actually with the Aussie dollar we are actually practicing this live and I'm going to go through the actual trade setup now with you guys live for a few days ahead so um, let's get to it I've actually seen some good movement in the market today which is quite surprising after the few weeks we've actually had now I'm going to start on the Aussie dollar as it's just here in front of me and we're relating it to this trend line here the trend line on the board is in fact an ascending trend line and the actual rules to trade uh, a simple trend line bounce and we do have it in front of us here but in a descending format so Aussie dollar overall uh, monthly chart I'll just show you the monthly um, on our monthly chart we have a uh, bearish sentiment overall moving averages they assist us in the trend direction if for you guys who are new to the videos weekly as you can see our lower highs and so on indicating yeah we are in a bearish trend very very simple and then coming down to the daily chart recently um, we did in fact break the 0.7550 key area of monthly support which uh, the currency was actually riding on for quite a while so um, with that being said as you can see our next key level was the weekly support and again today we actually finished with John and we gave him some steps on how to find target zones and multiple confluences for targets and um, the example here I think this we actually went through this and I think it was volume 34 or volume 35 on technical Tuesdays when this was just occurring so we've hit this key level and we've rebounded a little bit now the fourth bounce of the trend line here here's the third one and here's the fourth. The fourth normally expects some choppy behaviour, some false breakouts and so on. And we can see this is very evident that we um, tried to break up, break to the upside. However, today's candle from top to bottom, we've lost around 150 pips from the open price. Um, this is a bearish engulfing candle and we've engulfed one, two, three, four, for nearly five, six days um, of price action. And it's also a morning star, one, two, three. So sometimes candles uh, can hold characteristics of other candlesticks. It's all about the chart time and experience in which you can embed this information into your mind to relay out at a later date. So um, if we just remove the candles for a moment, the moving averages as well, our moving averages that we do use as a final confluence, um, they had an attempt at crossing to the upside and now they are just crossing back to the downside. So we have the monthly, weekly, daily all falling in alignment with each other very very simple very very straightforward we always need to um, wait until the trade comes to us our trading style overall is quite a relaxed method it's not really really fast paced we're always at the charts each and every hour of the day um, I'm at a level now where I can I have like seven or eight currency pairs I look at and most of it's done in my mind so I know where all the key levels are for each one because I've worked with them for so long and it can take me um, to, well the, the way the analysis is plotted on here, I don't have to come back every day or a few times a day to draw it back on. I just have to watch maybe the four hour candles, daily candles and allow the price to come to me, key levels to break and other rules to fulfill before I actually make any trading decisions. Now, Aussie at the moment is riding right on this weekly support level. What would be good for Aussie 
because if this closes like this today again this candle can completely change by 9 10 p.m tonight but if we do get this daily candle to close as it is now we could actually um, anticipate and expect a rollover to the downside here so i'm anticipating this level to be broken and 0.7000 is the next anticipated target zone for aussie dollar so the guys remember this is just analysis to use um, in conjunction with your analysis any of your strategies and views on trading okay so that's mine anyway that's that's astro effects analysis on the aussie dollar it's a very very strong downtrend we, we're in a trend continuation to the downside however 0 0.7 is in fact a key monthly level so when it does get that to, to that level which i highly anticipate it will um, we can now watch daily price action and weekly price action for a break of that level to go even lower however if it does i'm prepared and um, if it doesn't then we can maybe expect uh the weekly support to be tested as resistance so that's aussie in a nutshell it's my favorite currency pair now let's go over to euro okay so euro usd overall same rules same rules apply on each and every chart it's all about structure it's all about taking your time now um, euro usd from the monthly and we're going to run over this Okay, monthly chart, we had this bullish engulfing from 1.0500. Now, um, many people are selling euros, um, but as you can see here, one, two, three, four, four months, these monthly candles, um, the spikes on the candles could not, well, the candle itself couldn't really close below 1.1. 1 .1. Now, uh, that to me says rejection of that area and it can't go any lower. So even here with this bullish engulf and even though it's four or five months ago it's still got an impact as to what's about to occur in the market i'm actually bullish on this one and if we go down to the weekly read it from the weekly chart last week we had um kind of doji and then we had a little better form doji here which um often means 50 50 uh, indecisive the two currency pairs are equilibrium with with one another um however going down to the daily we've just broke the counter trend line we've held on the 61.8 fibonacci which is just here from from a to b uh daily we were on this daily support as well and we've just popped our head up today off uh, over the uh weekly resistance which is now support and the moving average across those so i'm just putting confluences together many people often say okay euros go in here however it's always wise to actually trade what you see in the market and read the price rather than uh trying to make a trading decision and judgment of what you think in your mind so that's your usd anticipated targets to the upside are 1.1500 and then fibonacci target 1.1700 and take out this monthly resistance up here and make a new high so i'm keeping my eye on this one at the moment it's one of my favorite um, pieces of analysis uh, in the midst of all of the um, uncertainty so moving on to gbp usd now gbp usd again um here notes await a break of daily resistance 1.5700 to execute a long position i did in fact post the aussie the pound and the euro on uh, twitter and instagram today and even facebook on the astro effects facebook uh for you guys i haven't been active on twitter recently because the market's not giving me it this is boring me so um we have been putting our uh, time and effort into other things that we've been doing recently in terms of business and so on so uh, GBP USD at the moment we are holding above monthly support 1.5500 and also to me I've circled this here because this bullish engulfing may be the confirmation of it's a new high or low however it's neutral at the moment no buys no sells and um, until we uh, break the, this this level which is a daily key level so once we get some momentum rolling up maybe a break of that level again uh, I would like my moving averages to cross up to the uh, cross back over to the upside and that key level to be broken um, I would ride the momentum and anticipate a new higher high probably at 1.6 so 1.6 upside target there as you can see a few annotations a few notes but again until it does something because it's been f nearly a month now as you can see it's been trapped here pressure's building it's going to go out one way or another and when it does we just have to sit back and just monitor again probably on a four hour daily uh, in this kind of market at the moment so i hope that helps now euro jpy um i haven't looked at this one on technical tuesdays for a while however i've spotted in the last few days a little bit of momentum here one two now uh, same thing trend lines 
um, we have popped our head above monthly uh, resistance which is now support 136 130 yeah yeah 136 um, overall I will anticipate I think we the we just had the crossover yeah we had the crossover just here so I am actually ant anticipating the euro JPY to continue its bullish uh, momentum and maybe come back up to test 141 um, we as you can see it's struggling here on this daily slash four hour piece of resistance okay it's a very, very minor area but it is reacting to it at the moment if we do get a breakthrough here uh, by all means i do think that the market can actually come up 140 141 i would monitor 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 the pair around here and um, there may be a chance for 146 but across that bridge when it comes to it so um i don't see why you would sell this pair right now um weekly as well because we were consolidating for a while we had many gaps in the market is all over the place here as you can see here but I don't, there's no reason to actually go ahead and sell this in my books at the moment um, I do think four hour we're gonna anticipate further strength of the euro against the yen so mm, it's one of those ones to watch but it's picking up some momentum from from as you can see here many many gaps up down all over the place but yeah one day two nice days of bullish momentum so brings me on to usd jpy now usd jpy that's this is the last official higher low in the pair that's the last official higher high so there's a high probability chance that i'm going over this with a student this was the last one we went over today see this level here 125.82 say there's a high probability chance that the usd jpy is going to jump above that so uh, from where it is now 125.15 um, I think it's got a minimum of 100 pips to go to the upside however there could be a potential possibility we may see 128 on that one and I'll be watching around here if it does reach if it does reach for any kind of daily reversal back to the downside because we are at some very very high levels at the moment on this pair um, but again I'll cross that bridge when it comes to it this is just a recommendation and I'm just reading the price for you guys so yeah that's usdjpy now next i'm just going to move over to um gold now gold as you can see with gold um we did in fact break a lot lower so on the weekly chart first of all uh, as you can see made the new lows into 1070s and we've pulled back and we've almost perfectly hit our weekly resistance look at that that is highly accurate so, well, our methods of, of getting the key levels um, are quite unique and again it works on, on not just currencies but commodities as well so as you can see here we've retested that zone all right we've retested the 11 19 11 20 zone um, judging uh, well depending on today's daily close of the candle we could maybe anticipate a rollover down to 10 40s and again guys you can go back onto the trading view the fnfx trading view and six seven months ago the gold analysis is all there when we were trading around these levels and or these levels too with a long-term weekly analysis and bias uh, pointing down to 1040 and you can see the befores and afters on that one as well um, any other currencies that I need to just catch up on yes there is there's actually one more okay and it is um, the USD Canadian dollar now oh, this is my old analysis this is all just a mess but however because I'm just going to go over this because I went over it in last technical Tuesday we broke above this massive area of resistance and today's candles are bullish engulfing and I do um, I'm still anticipating guys at 1.3400 as the upside target so that's um, 1.3400 from the current level uh, we're looking at 270 pips to the upside on this one and if this bullish engulfing is formed here's the last higher low there that mini little I would say that's a, a more so a spinning top not a hammer and then here that could maybe be the next higher low so a higher high is on the cards for this currency pair now I hope you guys enjoyed the analysis there's a couple things to keep in mind there. That's just my view, viewpoint and bias. You guys could have something completely different. Um, anything else that's interesting at the moment? We have GBP AUD, which is outperformed like crazy. Uh, this is my uh, level of resistance for this currency pair. And as you can see, it's just it's just like a train. It's just unstoppable at the moment. And again, you can go ahead and see my analysis on this pair over what six months ago. 
um, whereas all, all of the key levels were achieved now that pair's crashing a little bit it's annoying so yeah UST JPY bullish Euro JPY looking bullish Aussie bearish great setup there and GBP USD is bullish but it's just playing around and then same with Euro as well so indecisive slash giving us an opportunity to uh, maybe capitalize on some buy trades so that's that guys um, hope you enjoyed that analysis and we're going to be back next week with a topic as per usual now we have some work to do working on quite a few things at the moment doing some long shifts but it's all well and good so um, yeah we'll speak to you again soon